second ever? Me, I'm here. That's it though. You don't sadly don't get two hosts, just me. Um, but you know, you got what you. What words am I trying to say? You've got what you got, I guess. Um, Ellie doesn't sleep ever. Sleep is for the weak, don't you know? Um, Hazar says Frankie Flow. Hello, welcome. Um, I'm kind of here for real, says Ellie. Good. I'm glad you're here. Um, Hi, Joe, says Monte. Hello, welcome to the show. Busy live today. You love to see it. In fact, I think we do. Let's have a quick look at the um, the app, shall we? I'm just getting up now uh, so we can like scroll through it together. So uh, we obviously got the show happening right now. Duh. We got, um, oh, trivia uh, game show by Taiwan John at uh, 3.30. And then we've got a content update we're doing at 4.30. Lots and lots of stuff there. Please do tune into that. Genuinely, all the information you need is going to be in that show. Um, and then we've got more. Then we've got more trivia again at 8. Uh, Taiwan John at 8.30. Let's go for a pint in Spain at 8.45. Wow, the lineup is kind of huge today, to be fair. That is a busy day. That's a busy day. It's good to see, though. Um, Barbie is living her life, and I'm just uh, Ken enough. Ken, Ken enough. I can never, like, is it Ken enough or Ken enough? Um, let's go right to another holiday show. I'm very excited. I love Let's Go for a Pint show. They're so good. Um, so that is very exciting stuff. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, with the, uh, the emoji, Joe enough. Joe enough said knowledge is power. Thank you. Enough. Um, <laughs> amen, Kenny. Uh, hey, everyone, to Anime Down, welcome. We just shouted you out. Two syllables, so Kenuff. Kenuff, okay. Nogok says, uh, Will Tim wear a uh, black turtle neck and announce a new update? Uh, strutting on a stage? Maybe, maybe. Following uh, Tim Cook's footsteps, right? Uh, Kate Gladstone says, uh, Hi, life was rough for a while, but I'm back. Good to see you back. Kate, you need to verify your email on the app because we've been trying to send you money now for like three weeks or something. Um, so definitely, definitely verify your email so we can send you some cash. Um, Obi says sprockets. What is a sprocket? I kind of recognize that, but I don't know what. It, let's Google it, shall we? Uh, too many Zeus says uh, CT. Zeus is uh, coming there. Just verified a few minutes ago. Brilliant, Kate. Brilliant. Thank you so much um, for that. Uh, hey, hey, says Bold. Welcome. Ellie says, I want a sprocket and why do I want one? Right, right. Let's say uh, Google it. They are. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think this is what Ali was talking about. Because if it is, then that's a that's a very random thing to say. Here you go. Uh, oh, it's a J Jafif file. Ugh, hate those files. There we go. Um, look at that. That's a sprocket. Okay. Is this what you're talking about? Sprockets for pockets. It probably would fit in your pocket by the looks of it. Um, yes, it was. Said. This is what you were talking about. This is what you were talking about. If so, that's kind of crazy. Um, now it's time with the sprockets when we dance. What what does it mean? What does it mean? I have many of those, says Ellie. Do you do you have many sprockets? That's good. That's good. I'm glad. Um, similar to gear, says Obby wins. I think so. I think so. Mike Myers, SNL. Oh, I see. Is there some SNL sketch about sprockets? I'm not going to watch it now. I will watch it later, though. Here you go. Oh, there is. Sprocket, Saturday Night Live. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, and he's wearing a black turtle neck and strutting around a stage. Wow. That's that's crazy. I'd love to watch that now. Um, there you are, says Best Ken. Thank you, thank you. Um, we get that eventually. <laughs> I'm uneducated. This, this was, when was this uploaded? 2013? No. Yes? Yes. 2013, kind of, which is uh, kind of crazy. It's Shrek, guys. It's Shrek. Um, you seem very cool. Glad I'm here, says Ellie. Thanks. Thank you. Um, Obanatoba says, ants, 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 in my pants. Um, good day. Twice sent me for three. It's like 30 years old. Wow, okay. That's crazy. Older than me. Um, anyway, uh, let's get started with the show, shall we? Uh, will it be Sticky Vicky show on Let's Go For A Pint? Can't answer that question for you. I'll have to ask them. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, this is our... 3 p.m. more trivia show, which means we're splitting the pot today, which everyone loves always. So um, the rules are pretty straightforward. There's going to be uh, five questions that I'm going to put in front of you in a few minutes' time. You have to answer the questions quickly and correctly. The quicker you answer the questions, the more points you're going to get. And every single person in today's show above 30,000 points will be taking home a split of our prize money today. Uh, so there you go. There you go. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. And as I say, at 4 p.m. today, so no, 4.30, sorry. 
4.30 today, please mark that in your, in your timetables because we will be going over some slight schedule changes over the next couple of weeks or next month. So, you know, keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Um, anyway, let's uh, take it off screen, shall we? If I can find it, there we go. Love blowing up chat with randomness, says uh, Annie B. Don't we all, don't we all. Um, anyway, let's uh, guess that with question one, shall we? Because I think I think we're ready. Chat is beautiful, absolutely is. Um, question number one, here we go. We're talking about this fella right here, this fella. Looking exactly like me with that luxurious white beard. Um, but who is this man? Who is this man? Dereg, I'm afraid I can't understand that. I'm sorry. Santa says knock knock. It is. It is. It's not Santa. It's actually not Santa. Um, it's not Santa. I, you guys really go for that. It is Da Vinci. <laughs> it is Leonardo Da Vinci. Not quite Santa. Okay, but I see where you're going, coming from on that one. Um, da Vinci says CT. It is. It is Da Vinci. Um, Tom Hanks says Dino. Wow, the guesses are going crazy here. Um, Joe needs a nice beard. I would look so weird with a beard. Um, Santa Da Vinci. Yeah, we're going with Santa Da Vinci. But question number one is as follows. What was Da Vinci's most famous food-related painting? Was it The Breakfast Club, The Last Supper, or Dining Beneath the Stars? He needs a blue eye cover, says Cowboy Weasel. Not DiCaprio, says Zombie Wins. Not DiCaprio. This is Da Vinci. Da Vinci? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Um, slow tap, 9,999, says Chico. Probably not that slow, actually. Um, Jeremy Tower says, Food Fight 5. Um, Bartholomew says, uh, it should be called The Last Dinner, says, well, Bartholomew chat. Well, it was, it was The Last Supper, which is also the correct answer. Um, how many of you guys get this one right? Come on, come on. Hopefully, a large majority. 148 of you. 11 going for The Breakfast Club, and 8 going for Dining Beneath the Stars. Um, the Final Dinner, says Dot. Well, I suppose so. I suppose any, any of the above kind of, uh, goes hand in hand with this one. Um, Cam Campbell's Soup Cans says uh, Mr. S12. Imagine, imagine, predicting the future. Um, anyway, that was question number one. We're going to go straight into question number two here. We're going to keep the ball rolling. Here we go. Don't forget, uh, don't touch, forget about Jesus, says uh, Jeff Keys. I wouldn't be touching the Last Supper painting. You'll probably get into some trouble for that. Um, anyway, question uh, number two. Here we go. We're talking about this bad boy right here. The Detona 500... The uh, Great American Race. Daytona, uh, I believe that is. And this is the 2023 logo. So we're kind of with the current times right now, which is good. Um, no, it was, it was supper because it's at night. Um, that's where a Passover, Passover Serda takes place. I see, I see. Um, vroom Vroom, says Alame Dan. I love the Daytona. Well, hopefully we're going to get this one right. Question number two is as follows. What does the 500 stand for in this? Is it hours, miles, or laps? 500 laps, 500 hours, 500 miles. Which one sounds the most plausible? Or which one sounds the most crazy? Maybe. It could go either way, to be totally honest with you. Um, let's see what you guys have put, shall we? And I would drive 500 miles. And I would drive 500 more just to get the correct answer. Which is, of course, miles. 95 getting us some right. 58 going for laps. And 20 going for hours. Um, good job, good job. The Imperial system helps here. This is true. This is true. Um, if you guys are thinking kilometers, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. There you go. Um, Proclaimers knew this, says Kevin Matt. They did. They did. It was actually what they based their song around, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> uh, Boston Marathon over Daytona. Well, this is something you can uh, go go against in chat right now. I couldn't say I've ever seen Daytona, so um, it kind of goes straight in my head. I'm not even a massive F1 fan. A lot of my friends are, but I'm not... Uh, massively an F1 fan, or just racing in general. Um, I was miles off the correct answer. You're going to lap me now, says uh, Bartholomew. Brilliant, brilliant. Good stuff, good stuff. Anyway, question number three. Here we go. Starting with the leaderboards, because uh, I like to bait you guys out a little bit. Get your fingers at hovering, ready to go, and then I just uh, psych you out. Um, player 274, Sally, followed by Angie C, Kev Mac, Chico Lights, IFB, Now Cut That Out, Quiz Monster, Anime Dan, Super N, Zack, and Cowboy Weasel. Uh, but you only have to get over 30,000 points, so anything can happen. Um, what about Bartholomew? Uh, Bartholomew, that's funny. Um, Nas Joe, says Jeff Keats. I'm a massive F1 fan, and, mot and Motorsports is 
incredible, uh, says Ellie in chat. I'm glad you think so. Um, I also like motorsports um, occasionally. I mean, I like watching them like intermittently. I couldn't say I'm like a huge fan, but I do like them. I don't dislike them, I guess. Uh, anyway, question number three. Here we go. Go in a circle. Go in a circle. Advertise, says Anime Dan. The success story we all live by. Uh, question number three. Here we go. Can you tell me uh, who these people are? I would like to think a couple of people in chat probably can. Um, but who are these people? Come on. Charles and Maserati, says Jeff Keys. Maybe. Maybe I do. Um... Rolling Stones is out of way down. Of course, of course. Now, they are the Beatles. Jaywalkers as Cowboys. A little jaywalking. Look at them using the crossing. Using that separate crossing. Very well. Um, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Um, all members of the Beatles, which is what I'm looking for here. Um, dude lost his shoes, says. <laughs> he did lose his shoes, Obby Wins. He did. Um, anyway, question uh, number three. Here we go. Which one of these men was a manager for the Beatles? Was it Brian Epstein, John Lennon, or Malcolm McLaren? Now this one, um, is it a trick question? Are you guys going to go McLaren, but they make cars? And then it's going to be the correct answer. You'll be blown away. Um, uh, lag at me 9,905. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, Outsee says Mila. Wheel says, uh, why is this a bug on the sidewalk? Um, it's a vague question, Wheels. Vague question. People just like driving Beatles. What can you say? Um, anyway, revealing the answer. It is Brian Epstein. 113 gets the right. 34 going for John Lennon. 19 going for Malcolm McLaren. Um, kind of like ties into our last question a little bit with the cars. Um, not, not really though, because it wasn't the correct answer. But it could have been. So there you go. Um, oh, controversial dot. Uh, oh, so I, I'm going to move on before the chat gets even more controversial. Question number four. Here we go. Um, we're talking about shallow water. Shallow water. Okay. The good Epstein says <laughs> Frankie Flo. <sighs> Crazy. And if he says, uh, Chickeny Ritten, since he's not in the pick. Um, he's not in the pick. That is very true. Uh, but it was out of the men that I gave to you on the question. Um, what you guys, what are you guys think? Shallow water? Shallow water. Question number three. Here we go. Which country's name is believed uh, to have derived from the word shallow water? Is it the Maldives, the Seychelles, or the Bahamas? Se Seychelles? Se Seychelles. Seychelles. We get there in the end, eventually. Um, <laughs> I know everyone was saying, Joe, you can't pronounce that. Oh my gosh, putting it in chat. I was like, fine, I'm there. I'm there, Seychelles. I knew that. I knew that, I promise. You guys are delayed today. Uh, <laughs> revealing the answer. And it's the Bahamas. Uh, 40 gets the right. 50 go for Seychelles. 64 go for the Maldives. Um, yeah, good job. So 40 of you guys getting that one right. Um, let's take a look on our leaderboard, shall we? Sai Chilies, says CT. That's how I pronounce it now. Sai Chilies. I'm going to go to the Sai Chilies. Um, get off screen. Yay, Inzies. Well, Dot, Stephanie, best can ever. SJP, neatly done. On Manitoba, Urban Sabre, Bev75, uh, Chris and brought this monster are currently in, but so is all the way down to oh wow, not that far, thirteenth place are currently in. Um, so let's see if we can make some stuff happen here. Uh, she she says <laughs> she says say shells on the show more. Ah, uh, try saying that like ten times fast. It's gonna break your brain. Um, need three point two thousand, says Elizabeth. It is possible. Let's see if it can happen. Question number five. Here we go. Which word is Royal Marine slang for a long distance march carrying full kit? Is it a stomp, a yomp, or a grunt? I know I would be grunting and I would be stomping, but would I be yomping? Maybe. Yes, say shells. Yes, say shells. Um, Cowboy Weasel says you obviously didn't have the um, SI swimsuit edition where you when you grew up. Uh, say shells was a popular. Uh, what does that even mean? Loca no, oh, I think I was supposed to say location. Um, yeah, I've never been to Seychelles. Maybe I have. Let's Google it, shall we? See if I've been there. It's probably a really nice place, to be fair. Okay, I've never been there. Lord above, that looks lovely. Um, anyway, question uh, number five. Really the answer. It is yomp. It is a yomp, not a stomp or a grunt. It is a yomp. 79 get this one right. Um, 27 going for stomp. 29 going for grunt. Um, 
Fun fact, Yomp was popularised by journalistic coverage in 1982. Um, Ellie, you're scaring everyone in chat right now because you, you're probably the smartest person here, right? Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and look at those leaderboards. Who's taking over Split of My Money? Who's it going to be? Oh, it's interesting. I love when this happens. Um, more and more, you only yomp once. Um, I would only yomp once. Dot wins, so followed by Stephanie, uh, Chris, SJP, Best Can Ever, Neatly Done, Old Manitoba, Urban Safari, Brought This Monster, um, Quiz Monster. Wow, we've got the monsters next to each other. Gina B, Royal Fedora, John M, uh, Now Cut That Out, Soima, um, Roz, we've got Nox, Player 2 and 4, and I'm just going to go down this list by myself. Get it, everyone in there. Um, do remember, you can press the little share button on your screen to share to uh, Twitter. Dove31 has just actually shared to Twitter. I can see according to my watch. Um, so there you go. Definitely uh, go share that. Um, if you're quick, maybe I'll give you a little shout out for the end of the show. Cheeky little shout out, you know. Um, oh, Anime Dan and Kevin Matt, you guys were close, but not quite getting it there. Um, Ellie? Oh, Ellie was close to what? 27,000. If that's your first show, you did incredibly well. Um, Everyone's scared, always scared by my general knowledge. I know. I, everyone's always scared of, uh, scared of my general knowledge too. Um, it just happens to, to those of us that know things. Um, anyway, that is the that is the show. Um, dang, I do this. Win uh, a streak, then go on a... Win, win a streak, then go on a long streak. Losing streak. <sighs> Words in my brain not communicating. Um, fair play. It happens to the best of us, I say. Um, anyway, that's the show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for playing. Um, can, can I carry your books, Joe, for the 4.30pm class? You absolutely can. Um, we will be back at 4.30 for a little update show about the schedule changes and that kind of stuff. Um, and then at 8, at 8 o'clock, sorry, we are back with more trivia again. And hosted by me. Both shows will have me in them. So, you know what? You get your, get your fix of Joe there. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for playing. I regularly to general knowledge and the person that hosts it is still yet to beat me. Ellie, maybe you need to host your own show on more. We can make it happen. Just, uh, just let me know. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for playing i will see you all later have a lovely lovely rest of your afternoon and i'll see you in about an hour's time for our update show see you all in a bit bye bye see you all in a bit bye bye see you all in a bit bye bye